It is heating up a group H. Hot, hot as hell. It is wide open. How open is it? It is. Look, uh, it's more open as a Vietnamese hooker's legs. Um, I think looking, uh, and we'll bring up a table later, obviously. Yeah. Um, but wow, wowzers. We've got, we've got an open, open group. We've got amazing matches. We've got blockbuster matches. And we've got controversy. What controversy? What happened this week? Oh, Slovakia, Slovenia uh, was the group, uh, game from Group H this week. And Slovenia manager, Nick van der Douchebag, Van der Douchebag, uh, has not turned up to the event. We've, we've gone to their, uh, their government, their sporting bodies, looking for an explanation of this, this madness. Yes. Um, and what, hold up in traffic? What was, the, what was going on there? This is, this is what the uh, director of Slovenian sport had to say. To the mothers and the fathers, the brothers and the sisters, for the breaking up of families and communities, we say sorry. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't really cut the cheese for me. They've got to be there at the games. To, they've got a whole country behind them to support them. All they've got to do is go and play a video game. Uh, however, who got to fill in? Yeah, well, look, a video game was played, and our friend AI filled in for Slovenia. He's, he's reliable, isn't he? Here's how reliable he really is. And when they did, as Slovakia proved going forward that they were an unbeatable force. Goal! 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 Sestak sending the fans into ecstasy as the second half really opened up for them and well in the end it was goal after goal after goal. Uh, Slovenia, their defence, well they had no answers to a Slovakian attack that was looking far better than what they did in the first half. When Slovenia did try to go forward, well they were obstructed by Slovakian strong defence. A few subs only made the defence weaker as Slovakia really choked the life out of this Slovenian team that well. They looked pathetic, they looked poor, just like that shot right there. But he made up for it with another spectacular goal. This one, he just got the little backflip there, turned around, placed his shot. Hot, 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 hot. It was too hot to handle and it only made him want to score more as he just kept slotting them in, slotting them in like a gambler at the casino. The keeper, no chance with this one. Hot, 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 hot. He's gonna need gloves after this game because his hands, well, they're all burnt. Slovenia will go home disappointed, but Slovakia, it was 10 of the best. I just uh, cannot believe it. Uh, very, uh, how do you say, pichka temachina. Very bad. Be very tough effort, but with uh, stroba and skirtle, uh, definitely, for sure. Too easy, mate. Thank you. Oh. Devastation. Manager Dimitri Papadopoulos really slogging it to Slovenia. Uh, yeah, look, Slovakia, uh, they, were, they were more hot than a hot coal in an open fireplace. Uh, look, they scored 10 past Slovenia in, in, an, in an excellent second half turnaround. Uh, it's done their goal difference a wall of good. Uh, what a way to enter the competition. And like, uh, they really took advantage of the manager not showing up. Oh, definitely. Um, and, and full credit to the Slovakian coach as well. He doesn't really understand English too well. Yeah. Um, but it's, I think this tournament's going to do him a world of good. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll learn as he goes. Mm. So let's bring up the table. Ooh. The three S's, all on three points. Slovakia, South Africa and Slovenia. Slovenia, though, played an extra game. Will they have their manager back for the next one? If they do, well, maybe they'll compete for the top two. Um, Paraguay look all but out of it. Um, but yeah, look, uh, interesting group, and uh, I think it's one that's going to go down to the final day. Look out for that one in the Snickers Game of the Weeks coming up. Definitely. Group E now, North Korea versus Chile. What a shambles. North Korea with Brett Murray, their first and last match as he has to leave the country. And Chile, the kings of controversy, with their first match under AI rule as their manager had to leave the country. Yep, uh, I like Chilean food, it's um, very good. Yeah, and uh, well, what, what can I say? Let's go to the video package.
I just don't know, I don't know anything about Korea DPR. Um, I know that I don't know any of their names. I don't know what formation they normally play. But it is amateur, so if I lose this, uh, I deserve it. The only thing Brett Murray deserved was accolades because he was pumped up, the crowd was pumped up and it didn't take long before they had Chile on the back foot and Chile didn't last long on the back foot, breaking the goals open right early on. Hong Yong Jo doing his famous beheading of the Dolphin celebration and wow, it's two. Unfortunately, a fire emergency where the fire marshal blew his evacuation horn stadium evacuated but soon they were back in and ready for more soccer action as North Korea scored their th third Hong Yong Jo doing his famous stabbing of the dolphin celebration uh, Chile did have their opportunities however they were feeble just easy to defend and they weren't even uh, they were pretty feeble in attack too North Korea having the same opportunities over and over again they took advantage Hong Yong Jo scoring again doing his famous eating of the dolphin brain celebration and score 5-0 I don't know how important the goal difference is going to be in this group, but uh, this is probably a better chance to score more. Mm, very interesting from Chile. Um, and look, that's open group E, wide, wide open. Good um, from Brett Murray. Good way to open the account. I was quite surprised, and it's a shame we're not going to see more of Brett Murray, um, because from what, from what he showed in that encounter, he's definitely got what it takes to you know, get himself to the next round. But, uh, you know, um, you got to do what you got to do, and what we got to do is bring up the tables. Points-wise, Chile have guaranteed their spot through. However, will they get through with all the controversy, the, the changing of managers, and now being under AI rule, North Korea being under AI rule, we're not sure if Netherlands and Ghana might just get put through. So we'll have to speak with VVG, VVGT officials and get that sorted out. But otherwise, it's wide open. Uh, uh, Netherlands and Ghana have one game left, and if either of them can win that against North Korea, uh, they'll be looking to slot themselves in a second spot. Yeah. Uh, I want to see Ghana go through. Well, they might get through, but they might not. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? It'd be very exciting if they did. It would be. Well, we did something a little different this week, a little different to what we usually do. Not, not the same, we have to change it up. You know what it's time for? Okay, it's the Group B Super Duper Showdown. Yes. Well, what we're going we're gonna to do this week is instead of having just one game of the week, we're going to have a whole list of games because Group B is our first group to finish up. We've got our two people who will be going through to the knockout rounds. 100% confirmed, 100% cut and dry, it's done, done and done, they're through. Who are they? Well, we're going to have to wait and see in our special Group B Super Show. <laughs>